If you like LED strip lights, you got to decide, are you doing just a little project or are you doing a really big project in your house? Because it makes a difference on how you go about planning for it. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a really quick video. I recommend, uh, there's a link in the description for our article in our blog that talks about this a little bit more. It's basically about planning your LED light strips and how they're gonna be installed or used in your house. The light LED light strip industry is, is mobbed with tons of like, knockoffs and crazy different ways to build. Like here's a, a, a metal strip I have that I, I ran some light strips in, in one of the rooms in our house here. And it was, it was a big deal. A lot of planning, like if you're just gonna stick an LED light strip behind your television set. You can buy one of those cheap ones they sell at any big box store and you'll probably be fine. But if you're going to be installing LED light strips along molding or you know recessed or you know hidden uh, from view just as ambient lighting and it's going to be a big project you really really need to do your research. So please check out the link the description of this video so you can go to our blog and read it. A lot of things you need to be concerned with is the voltage of the light strips and there's 5 volt, 12 volt, 24 volt and whether you need to use metal rails or not because some LED light strips emit a little more heat and you need aluminum strips to help dissipate the heat which makes the bulbs last longer and not cause any kind of fire hazard and then there's all sorts of connectors because you can cut these light strips every few inches and make turns and so on and the, the connectors are complicated uh, they're not as easy as you think they are some light strips are of poor quality, like the lowest, cheapest light strips you can buy have LEDs are further apart and then they be, give this little kind of spotty effect and they make filters, diffusing filters, and then they make some, they're almost like a solid light. There's so many LEDs in there, it looks like a neon tube. I'm not going to get too much into it, but it's very important, depending on what you want to accomplish with your LED light strips, you really need to plan it out. And if I could give you one piece of advice, if you're starting thinking about doing a whole room project, really plan it out. Measure, d draw a diagram as best as you can, figure out how many turns you're going to make, figure out where the outlet's going to be. Your remote control is also a big deal as well. Uh, some are directional where you have to aim it at the receiver or you can get an RF, a radio frequency remote where you can hide the receiver and just use it uh, anywhere without having to point it. So there's a lot of stuff. I recommend you take your time, measure it out, study every single part they have, how the connectors work and and figure it out go through the math in your head and you'll be better off but uh, check out the njbrew22.com i have a blog link in the description here and you could check out what we wrote down so you could uh, plan it out and maybe save yourself some grief when you uh, do your big installation so that's it i hope i helped uh, and click the like and subscribe and i'll see you next video